Good morning, everybody. So, oh, feeling a little winded. What we just witnessed, what I just showed you, was the differential out of this Mustang GT. It's an 07. Oh, I got this car. Well, Frank got this car for me from an auction, and uh, I've been uh, trying to get little pieces here and there that it needs. But the first thing that it needed when I got it, the first drive that I went on. The differential was toast i had got a differential from a junkyard it was good but it had water in it so while driving it made noise like bearing noise so i took it back out have it in the next air we're gonna take it back see if they have another one that we can use for this car and i wasn't really gonna post anything on this car but i mean doing a whole rebuild on it pretty much so the differential and then it has body damage here, so I think it's a fender, the bumper, the hood, and this door that was damaged. So it'll probably be another another car that we can show you guys how like how to do work on. Anyways, now we're gonna head off to the junkyard. So that was a bit of a fail. I returned the diff and they didn't have another one. Well, they had like two other diffs, but they were all damaged. And yeah, so the guy just gave my money back. Which kind of sucks because now I gotta, I gotta look for another diff. And everybody wanted like 600 bucks for them. This one was a, I mean, it was a, a pretty good deal they wanted 300 bucks half of what everybody else wanted so if I can't find another one then I'm gonna be making a video on rebuilding the diff that I that's that was in the car so that one was trash like the, the gears are trash but I didn't leave it empty-handed I got a side view mirror mine doesn't have it at all and the wires were uh, cut off on my door so at least at least we got something that I needed a few other things that I still need. I mean, I'll be letting you guys know little by little everything that the car needs. But uh, as we go, or maybe when I get home again, uh, I'll walk you guys over the car so you can see everything that it's going to be needing. Anyways, for now, that is all. So real quick, I forgot to just say, so the header on the driver's side has a leak pretty sure it has a crack in the header so we're gonna have to take the header out and see if we can get it fixed um, but yeah the one exhaust leak that we need to fix and along with everything else that needs to be fixed but I almost forgot about the head the exhaust leak at the header anyways guys to the shop
Alright, what's going on guys? We're back at the shop with the Z. Um, what we're going to be doing today is cutting out a section right here in the firewall. I guess you call it the firewall and the transmission tunnel so that we can get the starter to fit. Just because I don't want to take this all this back out. I mean, you could take it out and bash all this in, but nah, we're not going to do all, any of that. We're going to cut it out and call it a day so we can get the starter in there in the car cranking and hopefully get this thing done ASAP so we can get it running and driving but anyways first thing that we're gonna do first thing I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna drill a hole right oh, that glare I'm gonna try and drill a hole right here just so I can see it through the inside and then from there I can cut out as much section as I need to, to to where the starter fits but I'll probably be cutting that from the inside I'm just gonna drill a hole that way I know I guess the the area that I need to cut around alright guys now you can see the holes that I already uh, punctured in there kinda guesstimated I mean once once this is all cut out and the starter fits we're gonna put something else on here to cover cover the hole it's not just gonna be open but anyways, now we'll get to doing that. There we are guys, got that piece out, a little bit of a pain in the ass, but I mean, it's, it's out. Now, get the starter and I'm pretty sure it's going to fit right here, if it doesn't, then yeah, we're going to have to cut some more. I cut out quite a bit more than I needed to, but that's okay. I had a spot here on the transmission that was hitting, and I still had to hammer a little bit on this, but it fits, and it fits really easily. I got the wires hooked up. The These are all the factory wires. This is the one that comes from the battery, the 12 volt source, and then the signal that's hooked up. So it should still turn on with the key. Um, or it should still crank with the key. Um, whenever we get this, once I get, I mean, later on, uh, maybe in a few weeks, I'll get another piece of metal and shape it out so that we can cover this up, but at least whenever this has to come back off, it'll be cake to do. Anyways, that's, now that that's done, I realize now I don't have the starter in the way of the in the way of the crank sensor. That's gonna be it for the Z for right now. We're gonna head over to the junkyard right now and get uh, hopefully some gears for the 07 Mustang GT that I have. So we'll get back to it when we get to the junkyard. All right, fellas, so junkyard was a fail. Again, every single Mustang that we went uh, to see that was a GT either already had the gears taken out or it just didn't have the diff at all and that kind of sucks because you know it's all I need really to get this car rolling but anyways I guess I'm going to try and find another diff or more than likely the outcome is going to be buying the gears and the spider gears and just rebuilding this thing I mean I really didn't feel like rebuilding one I would have rather just you know got a diff slapped it on and and uh, be done with it and then go on with the body work but it just didn't work out that way for me probably won't work out that way I'm probably just gonna have to rebuild it but 
Oh well, that kind of sucks. Anyways, now we're home. It's the end of the day. Pretty tired. Um, that's going to be the end of this video. Um, I hope everybody's holidays were good. Um, if you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. If not, Happy Day. And uh, Happy New Year's to everybody. So, alright guys, that's it. Until next time, peace.